Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, Cucina Divino, cooking easy with the Divinos. Tonight we're going to make a simple pasta dish with only five ingredients. So this is actually, this is one of my favorites. It's a spaghetti carbonara. And um, just let me get into a little bit of the history of this. This was, um, it's a Roman dish from around the Roman region of Italy. And uh, the coal miners or the charcoal makers in Italy, the, in, the, in the fields, would cook their pasta and their food over charcoal fires. So the word carbone means coal in Italian. So carbonara comes from cooking it over coals. But however, this word never got into the dictionary until about 1954. So there, were no, uh, there was no pasta carbonara. But this is an interesting sidelight. Uh, during World War II, the uh, American soldiers were giving eggs and bacon to the Italian citizens. And the Italian citizens found out that they could use the eggs and the bacon, or pancetta bacon, I guess they used, in their pasta dishes. So then, when Rome was liberated in 1944, the uh, American officers who were in Rome, turned out they loved this dish. And that became the American officers' favorite dish in Rome, pasta spaghetti carbonara. So these are the ingredients we're going to use today. We're going to use a pound of uh, spaghetti. You can use linguine, uh, fusilli, or uh, bucatini, or any kind of pasta that you want. We're going to use the olive oil, of course. I like to use bacon. I have applewood bacon here. Uh, this is a recipe originally called for pancetta, which of course you know is always added to Italian food. But I don't think, I mentioned before, I don't think the pancetta has the flavor that we need. So I'm using applewood bacon. Two eggs, a cup of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. You can use pecorino, you can mix half and half, but I think today we're gonna stick with the uh, Parmigiano. Now, an ingredient that's usually not in this dish, uh, which some people say is anathema, you can't add it, is garlic. So I've added uh, just one clove of garlic to this. I think it just gives it a little, little bit of a kick. Uh, of course, we have some Italian flat leaf parsley for a garnish, some salt and pepper we're going to be using. So five ingredients, that's all you need, and it takes like 15 minutes to make this. So uh, we're gonna, I'm going to take all these things, get them over to the stove, and uh, we'll be back when I have everything ready over there. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. Uh, we have all our ingredients ready to go here. As you can see, we have our... Joanne, you want to get in on this a little bit closer? We have our... Our bacon, which is nicely sauteing. I'm going to add the garlic to this now. And we're only gonna cook that about another minute or so. Till we get the aroma of the garlic comes out. So there we have that. We have our pasta going, the water going. Uh, we're gonna add, now remember, you have to add a nice amount of salt to the pasta water. So it's about two tablespoons of salt. When you drain the pasta, it uh, all the salt usually gets comes out anyway, so we're gonna salt it later too. All right, so we have our pasta, we're gonna put that in. And we're gonna cook that al dente, of course. Uh, should be about eight minutes or so on this particular pasta brand. Now, in, in the bacon, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, the bacon was uh, about two, two tablespoons of oil, olive oil, which is what I used uh, in the pot, and I put the bacon in there. So we're gonna get that going. And when the pasta is done, we're going to drain it. We're going to put all this together. Oh, by the way, I've uh, put my, uh, I've mixed my cheese and, and two eggs together. So this we're going to add at the end. So it's all done, and we're going to put that in there off the heat, of course. So we don't scram, we don't want scrambled eggs. So okay. So we'll be back in about eight minutes uh, when this is done, and uh, we'll see you then. Back. Everything is uh, ready to go. So let's. Uh, Put this all together. As you can see, our bacon is just right, right in there with the uh, garlic. So I'm gonna shut that off. And we're gonna, the pasta's done. We're gonna drain the pasta. I did save some pasta water, uh, just in case, because we wanna see, we don't want it too dry, too loose. So we saved some of the pasta water with the starch in there. That's really good. And we'll use that later. Um, the eggs I told you that I mixed, so we have them ready to go. And here we go. So let me drain the, shut this off. We're gonna drain the pasta and get ourselves going here. Okay. 
can have a little water left over in there. It's not too bad. So put that back in the pot. Bring that to the stove. Now, I shut off the heat. I shut off the heat. So this is off the heat. So we're going to put our bacon mixture in here. The whole thing, everything that was in here, goes in the pasta. Very healthy for you. We're going to mix that up. Joanne, you want to get in here? You can see that we have all our bacon and pasta in there. We're going to get that all soaked. Okay, so now we're going to take this off the heat a little bit. We're going to save our water over here. Put this here. And we're going to add our egg mixture. Now, we don't want to scramble the eggs, as I said. So everything goes in here. The residual heat from the pasta will cook the eggs. So no need to worry about that. I'm going to stir that around. If you had it on the heat, it would be too hot and the eggs would scramble. So we don't want that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Coming along. Joanne, can you see that? Now, some people like it this way. If you like it draw on the drier side, you can do that. But if you add some of the pasta water to it, it'll make it more of a creamy sauce. And we're going to, just a tablespoon at a time though. So we don't want to get too much in there and make it too loose. Then you'll have a lot of soup. You don't want any soup. Okay, now we dumped the pasta out, drained it. So most of the salt went out, as I said before. So we're going to add a little bit of more salt using some sea salt and of course some freshly ground black pepper. I like a lot of pepper. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want. Don't need it at all. And we're going to stir that up again. Get that all stirred. I don't think we scrambled the eggs, so I think we're okay. Okay. So we're done. We're just going to plate this now. Let's bring it over to the counter. Okay, that looks like a nice portion. We're going to garnish this now with some flat leaf parsley, as I mentioned. And uh, knowing me, I need that black pepper on there, so I'm going to go a little bit. You could add some more cheese to this also, some Parmesan, but I need it right now. And here we go. So let's see. This is the best eaten pretty much right away. Because of the white sauce, it does get a little cooled down pretty quickly. So let's see how this goes. Could be good. Okay. Oh, that's very good. Just enough salt. The pepper is good. I could use a little more pepper myself, but I think we're good. So five ingredient dish, easy to make, 15 minutes all together by the time you put it all together. So I hope you enjoy it. Remember, all these recipes are on YouTube. Cooking easy with the Davinos, D-A-V-I-N-O-S. And you can check them all out on YouTube. And if you like, subscribe, hit that little bell, and that shows that you'll get notifications when a new recipe goes on. So, thanks very much for joining us again. Buon appetito. Saluti. Tutti a mangiare. Ciao.